gang. Let's go ahead and start off with that warm up. We're going to start off first with 25 lateral hops side to side. So 25 total. Just jump side to side. You can jump over an object if you'd like, whether it be a barbell, anything like that. But get those ankles straightened up. When you guys are done with that, just go ahead and stand tall so I know you guys are done. Next movement we're going to do, we're going to do 10 squat and fold. Squat and fold, as you remember, you're going to stand tall, speed underneath those hips, twist the heel in, in, press the knees out, stay at the bottom, grab those toes, hips up in the air, sit down at the bottom of that squat, and right back up. Let's go ahead and get 10 squat and folds, please. Well, looky, looky, who's here? We got some visitors today. Oh, are you going to demo? When you guys are done with your 10 squat and folds, go ahead and stand tall. Yes. 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 What's going on? Ozzy has that little side eye at the bottom of that squat. It's kind of weird. It always comes in and out. When you guys are done with those squat and folds, go ahead and stand tall. And then let's go ahead and get 25 lateral hops again. All right, just side. After you guys are done with those 25 lateral hops, go ahead and lay down on your bellies. And let's get six scorpion twists, three each side. So lay down on your bellies, hands out, take that opposite foot to the opposite side. Just on the ground, hold it for a second or two on each side. Let's get six three each way. I thought you were going to be in the front. When you guys are done with those scorpion twists, go ahead and stand tall again, please. And then let's do another set of your 25 lateral hops. Again, if you have an object to jump over, great, to keep those ankles nice and soft. Now we're going to do one more movement. When you guys are done with your 25 lateral hops, everybody get into a plank position. Shoulders stacked up right over those wrists. Take one leg or foot, get right out of that hip. Press that knee out with the elbow. Get a nice little twist into your chest. Hold it for about two or three seconds. And switch sides. Let's go ahead and get six. Good lunges with the rotation please. Three each way. When you guys are done, go ahead and stand tall, bring that heart rate back down a little bit, and then grab a light weight. It can be a light kettlebell, a light dumbbell, and I'll explain what the second part of the warm up wad is today. Tom? You guys, uh, anybody want to demo? <laughs> well, since we have Bo here today, it will be the first part of the demonstration. All right, now that you guys are done, go ahead and grab, like I said, that light dumbbell or light kettlebell. We'll be using it in the Tabata today. So today's Tabata will include it. If you guys know, remember what the Tabata is, it is uh, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we'll be doing four movements. And you'll be doing each movement one right after the other. So we're going to start off first with a handstand wall lock up. I think we kind of know what that is. We'll let Bo demonstrate. <laughs> the handstand wall lock up. You're going to start off in that plank position with your feet on the wall. 
You're going to inchworm your way up into that wall. Get as close as you can to the wall. Kiss your nose to it. Whatever you can do, wherever you're comfortable. Press your shoulders in those ears, palms in the ground. And then right back down. We'll be doing 20 seconds of that. Then you're going to move on to squat jacks. Let Bo show us the squat jack today. Exactly. Oh, squat and then bring your feet together. 20 seconds of that. 10 seconds off. Then we're going to move on to the bridge. Can, can he do that again? We're going to lay on that back. You're gonna squeeze those glutes, hold it for a second, and then up and down. 20 seconds of that. And then the last movement is a weighted flutter kick. So you're gonna hold that weight as if it was right above that head, kind of in that V up position. Bring those feet up, and then you're gonna pitter paddle your feet, just like so. 20 seconds of that. Some substitutes, if you do not, do not have any room to do a handstand wall walk up, you guys can do an inchworm with a push up, which is perfectly fine as well. Hinge up those hips, right back out, and push them up, and then bring it right back. Um, squat jacks or squat jacks, glute bridges straight forward, and then the flutter kicks. If you don't have a weight, that's okay. Um, Any questions about the warm up quads? Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to start the clock. So it's going to be basically eight rounds total. You're going to run through it two times each movement 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Don't worry, I will give you guys the countdowns when it's done and when to start. And we'll start in 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, go. Handstand wall walk-ups or any variation of. Oh, Hannah. Is that your job or Hannah there? 10 seconds. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, and rest. Ten second transition. Next movement is going to be that squat jack. In three, two, one, and go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, 10 second transition. Lay down on the back. We're gonna get into those root bridges in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So lift those hips up, squeeze those glutes, and then right back down. 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one. Just lay down on that ground. Go ahead and grab that weight. We're going to start off with that weighted flutter kick. So we're going to get into that kind of semi hollow rock. In three, two, one, and Ten seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one, and 10 seconds transition. We're going to repeat it all over one more time. We're going to go back to that handstand wall, walk up, push up, or inch in three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. 10 second transition. Go back to that squat jack. And three, two, one, and go. Nice. Guys. That's good, Dad. 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Ten second transition. Lay back down on your backs. Three, two, one. Glute bridges. If you have that kettlebell or dumbbell and you want to hold it, you could do that too. 
Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, stay on that ground, grab that weight, hold it back overhead. We're gonna hit it with the weighted flutter kicks in. Three, two, one, and go. Nice, guys. Get that core nice and warmed up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice, go ahead and put that weight to the side. I'm gonna post up the workout one more time. And since I have friends here, we will demonstrate the movements before we start. So go ahead and take the next three to five minutes, kind of get your equipment that you need, and then we'll do a little demonstration of the workouts first, and then we'll get started. I'll switch the screens right now. <laughs> All right. So for the first part, guys, what you'll need is the box jump contraption. So if you do have any of the boxes that we load out, awesome. If you have a chair, go ahead and get that. If you have a bench, go ahead and get that. You can also stack up bumpers if any of you um, borrowed any of the bumpers as well as your options. Sit-ups or sit-ups. Again, just try to find a soft surface. If you've got a yoga mat, if you've got a towel, you can put just right at the um, top of your, or right behind you, so you don't get any raspberry butt at the end. And then whatever it is you want to use to do your swings, prescribed weights or the prescribed, the prescribed equipment is the kettlebell, but if you have a dumbbell, you can use that also. Or if you have a heavy water jug or just something like that, it's a little bit heavy, we'll do that. So let's take the next minute, kind of get you guys all set up. You guys need to use the restroom, do it now. Get a drink of water, fill up those water bottles, let's do that now too. Actually, we're setting it up here. So take a screenshot of this. If you don't have it, don't worry. We'll continue to use it. Weight is Alex's choice. So if you wanted, uh, I would assume the prescribed day would be the 1.5. For guys, gals, so go ahead and start setting up your areas, your yoga mats. The box runs. I'm just gonna do a jump squat. Is that all right? Sorry, what was that? Who was that? No, no box. So I'm just gonna do like a jumping squat. Oh yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Do you I'm have do a, a weight with you? Say again. Do you have a weight with you? I do. A dumbbell or a kettlebell? Yeah. Cool. Maybe you could do like a goblet hold. Do that bottom yeah. squat. We'll jump up there. Give it some. Uh, give it some resistance. Would be fun. Nice guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Bo and Amanda demonstrate the movements that we'll be doing today before we get started. So again, it is 15 minutes, as many rounds as possible. You're gonna start off first with the box jump. Remember the standards, eyes on the target, both feet on the box, stand tall, step down. Um, step ups are okay. Um, again, if you have a chair even, you can do step ups on there. And then as we mentioned earlier, jump squats or weighted jump squats are a great substitution also. After you do your 10 reps of that, you're gonna get into 15 ab mat sit-ups. Pretty straightforward with the sit-ups. You wanna make sure your shoulder blades, your back, everything touches the ground. If you've got your kettlebell, you can use that as your weight to hold your feet down. You can do the butterfly, the way that works, and squeeze those hips together. Engage those core, the core, and then go ahead and sit up. So you can do 15 of those, and then you're going to end that round with 20 single arm Russian kettlebell swings. So you can hit that hip, lock out those knees, open up the feet, use that momentum to just bring that kettlebell or that weight to eye level. We're not going overhead today. So go ahead and warm up, maybe get about five. 10 reps of each movement, just nice and slow, nice and easy. And we'll start the workout in roughly about two minutes. Any questions about any movements or substitutions or anything like that? Is it 10 single arms? Like, 
10 on your right. So it's 20 right. single arm swings. I would do 10 on each side. Yeah, they, okay. That's my recommendation. What's that, Lori? Lori. Say, well, sorry, say it again. Oh, the weight. I would go, uh, the red, what, what do you have there? I have a red and a blue. Red and the blue. Ooh. Man, Amanda's doing blue. Amanda is doing 1.5, AKA blue. That's because there's no reds here. <laughs> That's the Lori RX. <laughs> go blue, Lori. We're just trying to make you a better human. Go blue. Go blue. Go big blue. I think you're strong enough, Lori. I believe in you. There you go, Jamie. I don't know if that's enough plates there. <laughs> nice. Step down. Good. Josh, you all good? Sweet. Kelly, you doing well? Cool. Sophia, any questions? You're all good to go? Anna and John, where's Remy? Oh, I see. I see. Christopher, all good? Thumbs up? Yeah, here we go. Cool. Rick and Laura, you guys are good to go. So, Matt is um, doing something there. Sammy, you good? Cool. Laura's good. Mark's ready to go. He's got his arm crossed. Deb, is he ready? Rebecca's good. How about the Gherkins? You guys all good to go? Karen? V Dog? How many rounds? <laughs> nice. All right, guys, I will start the clock. So it is 15 minutes, as many rounds as possible. 10 box jumps, 15 sit-ups, 20 single arm rushing kettlebell swings. Those three movements, those 45 reps count as one round. Repeat as many as you can all the way through within the 15 minutes. And we will start in 10 seconds. Go Do I have to do the mute all through the main camera? Nice, Karen. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uy, okay. <laughs> nice, Jamie. There you go, Jess. Looks good. Nice, Lori. I like the uh, every couple of reps, being able to switch it mid-air. The challenge is if you guys can do the 20 unbroken, try to do that. And uh, get it both. There you go, Matt. Looks good, man. Try to keep that back nice and flat. Use those hips. Energy of the hips. Nice, Kelly. Good weighted step ups there. Nice. Ozzy and T, good teamwork. between you and the post. Good, man. Man, right back in the bottom of that squat. There you go. Break parallel. Nice, Sophia. Those are really great swings. Halfway through, seven and a half minutes to go. 
Nice, John with the stiff-legged sit-up. Using all hips, all four. That's good, man. Nice, Rebecca. Use those hips, get that weight up there. There you go, Sammy. I got those knees, hinge it through hips, drag it right back down. Stand up all the way at the top. Open up those hips. There you go. Four minutes, guys. Four minutes to go. Nice gang, you're 
approaching 90 seconds. Start picking up that pace. Go a little bit faster. Go more broken. 90 seconds of work left, guys. 90 seconds. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I like that speed, looks good. One minute, guys, one minute. That's all that matters. Justin looks like he's probably on the ground doing a sweat angle there. <laughs> Kelly, how'd you do? Nice, seven rounds too. Sophia. Yeah, good job. John, how'd you guys do? Good, thumbs up, that's all that matters. Christopher? I set up plus four, I think. Good work, man. I'll get to Rich later. Matt, how'd you do, bud? Six plus two. Nice. Sammy, that's all it. We're just moving. Lori, how'd you do? I got, I got uh, 14 kettlebell swings in the seventh round. Nice, good work. Mark, it's somewhere there. Deb, how'd you do? Um, I got eight with 13. Good work. Karen, walking around. V, how'd you do? Who? Team. Good. That's all that matters. Just get some good work in. All right, guys, why don't we take the next couple minutes? You can go ahead and clean up your areas, put your equipment away, or at least uh, actually keep one, one more piece of equipment. So if you want to use that kettlebell, a light kettlebell or a light dumbbell, our knee today is all about quality. It's not for time. It doesn't matter how much weight you use. It's all about the purpose of the movement and the intent of the movement that you guys are doing. So we'll give it another couple of minutes. I'll have the crew demonstrate the second part of the workout again. Um, but I'll put it up for you guys to write down or take a look at. So we'll put it up for a couple more minutes. So as you guys are kind of moving things around and setting yourselves back up, part B today is four rounds for quality. 10 pistols on the right side. You'll do everything on the right side first and then the left. 10 pistols on the right, 10 single arm shot presses on the right, 10 single arm bent over row on the right. Ideal is to have the shot press and the bent over row be the same weight. Then you'll move on to the left, 10 pistols on your left, 10 single arm shot press on your left, and then 10 single arm bent over rows. I will have Amanda demonstrate for us the movements and then we'll get started. Give me one second here. All right, so the first movement is going to be 
10 pistol squats. I will have Amanda demonstrate the prescribed pistol. Like so, you want to break parallel, squat on that one foot, and then right back up. A colorful of substitution can be to put your um, foot behind your ankle and do like a little single-legged squat there. And then if you guys still have your boxes, you could also do a single-legged squat on the box to get some depth, or you can use that as your guide to how deep you want to go there. So that is your single, uh, sorry, your pistol. Next movement after that is your thought press. The thought press will be like so. If you've got the kettlebell or the dumbbell, you're going to front rack it, stay at the bottom of the squat. Press into those ears. That is your single arm thoughts press. If you don't have the mobility or the depth, I would say even a three quarter squat foot press or strict press should be fine. As long as you're getting that good weight um, shoulder overhead movement there. And then you're gonna move on to a single arm bent over row. You're gonna hinge at the hips. You're gonna keep that elbow in close to your torso. Squeeze those lats, squeeze those shoulder blades for 10. And then you repeat everything else on the other side. So again, it is four rounds for quality. You're gonna do those six movements, three each side, 60 reps. And then when you guys are done, let us know if there's some time, we'll do some little water recovery too. So why don't we go ahead, give it another minute or two, unless everybody's good to go. Thumbs up if you guys are pretty good to go. Sophia's good, Jamie's good. Any questions about the movements? Laura's good, the Gherkins are good, Matt, good to go, Sammy's good to go. All right, I have guys, a question. truly no have time a gap on this. Again, it's for quality, I have a so on your pace, you've got four rounds for quality, 10 pistols on the right side, 10 socks presses on the right side, 10 bent over rows on the right side, and then repeat on your left, 10 each movement. She should always come out every now and then. Yeah, and I think it only does it on my No, yeah. no, it doesn't. Like, it's not on a sleep or anything. On your own time. Oh my god. Let's get it, Lori. You can also use that weight, whether it be a kettlebell or a bumper or your dumbbell. You can hold it in front of you to kind of give you that balance, help counteract that balance as well. <laughs> there you go, Lori. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe do three to five reps at that quarter at that quarter squat, then get down to parallel, and then maybe one below parallel. That's another way if you guys want to work on that depth and mobility of that socks press. You could do a couple standing, a couple in that quarter squat, a couple in a full, not a full squat, or at right at 90 degrees. And then <laughs> Hello, Dada. <laughs> I think that's Carlo. Is uh, talking. Hey, can you hear this? No, I can't tell. <laughs> that guy. Is that you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> need to answer wrong. Nice, Sophia. There you go, Deb. Squeeze those lats. That Another guy. way you guys can do your bent over row, you can do a tripod style. You can put one foot in front of you. Use that Dada. hand, get in there, squeeze Dada. those shoulder blades together also. Dada. I think that's her. <laughs> Who is she? Who is she playing to? There you go, Lori. Keep that balance. <laughs> nice team. You got that foot behind your ankle there, or you uh, got one foot on the ground too behind you. Me? Hi, Dana. <laughs> Yeah, 
head go, man. It looks good. There you go, Laurie. Keep that back a little bit more flat. I'm going to turn on music, Ron. That's the back up. There you go, T. Oh, let me see my little Nice, John. There you go, guys. Nice, Sophia. Drive through those heels. Good. Nice work, gang. We got the banda. They're synchronized. Look at that. Hey, Bozzy. What is that, Dad? That's that stand bag? Stand bag. <laughs> nice stuff. Take a nice little break in between when you guys are done. Like we said, it's for quality. I want to make sure that you guys get a good amount of rest too in between. But be purposeful about the movements. Be intentful about it. Good work. There you go, Jules. At the barbell row. Did I see Michael up there? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw those. I thought I saw his <laughs> Rick, where'd Laura go? Ah, uh, there you are. <laughs> what round are you guys on? You guys already starting three or just about finishing up three? 
Just um, curious. Nice. Approaching four. Good work, guys. There you go, T. Press those uh, shoulders, biceps into the ear. There you go. Don't let it go out so much. Very Chris. Your super speed there, man. You know, it's not heavy enough. I go for ball. That's right. That's right. There you go, Jules. <laughs> Better range than I have. There you go, Rich. There you go, T. Functional bodybuilding. Good work. <laughs> Looks like he's about done. Yeah. One more, just kidding. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice, Anna. Sammy. I like that. Getting deeper each time. Good work. All progressions. Quarter squat, 90 degree squat, and then break that parallel squat. Good work, gang. Cool. 
I'm assuming everybody's roughly on their last round. Yep. Cool. Had a good work. Oh. Rich in the background. Very oh, Who was that wrong? Nice, Kelly. You guys are all done. Good stuff. How long was that three. roughly? They've got their own little wad with every yoga going on right now. Jules, how'd you do? Good. Good. Work, man. It was hard. Oh. Matt, getting a little, little cool down. Nice work. Rebecca, all good? Dunzo? Yeah, done. Nice. Vanessa, you doing good? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Rich. <laughs> no more? Uncle? Mercy. Mercy. I saw his eight. There you go, bud. Nice, Kelly. I saw that. All right, gang, we're just about done-ish. But good work, guys. I hope you guys had a good workout. Thanks, Ronnie.